Good morning, my dear class four. Welcome back to our science class. Which lesson are we studying now? Yes, air, water, and weather. We all know that we studied about weather. We studied about air, which was an important topic which we learned. Yes, sea breeze and land breeze. Did you read the textbook? Okay. Now in our today's class, we are going to learn a more about water. We can see water everywhere, isn't it? Children, you know, around seventy percent of the earth is covered with water. Where can we see this water? Yes, we can see the water in rivers, lakes, oceans, etc. So when we are talking about water, a very important topic we need to know that is water cycle. That is water cycle. I know that you have already studied this water cycle. Yes, when we are studying this water cycle, there are some important terms which we have to remember. Yes, evaporation, condensation, precipitation, then transpiration, etc. What is a water cycle? Yes, the flow of water in our nature. That is water cycle, isn't it? So let us see how this water cycle is happening. Okay, we all know that the water which is present in the river, seas, oceans, lakes, etc., will get changed into water vapor. Will get changed to water vapor. How it is happening? Yes, because of the heat of the sun. Yes, this change of water to water vapor is called as evaporation. Yes, the change of water to water vapor is called as evaporation. You know, evaporation will happen very fast when the air is very windy. If there is lot of wind. The clothes and all will dry very fast, isn't it? And when you are hanging the clothes, you will spread out the clothes. Why you are spreading the clothes? Yes, if the surface area is increased, evaporation will happen very easily. In the same way, if the weather is very windy, so during the wind, uh, very heavy wind, then also evaporation can happen very fast. And if the temperature is very high, if it is very hot, then also evaporation will be taking place. Very fast. Now we understood about evaporation. Not only by evaporation, by the transpiration of plants. We know that plants prepare their own food, isn't it? Yes. From the leaves, water vapor will be given out. So by the transpiration of plants, also water vapor is reaching the atmosphere. These water vapor they slowly rises up, and what is happening? They will slowly rise up. And what is happening? This water vapor, when it is being cooled, it will change to water again. Can you recall what is that process called? Yes, it is called as condensation. The process of changing water vapor to water that is called as condensation. By the process of this condensation, what is being formed? Yes. Clouds are being formed. Clouds are being formed. You know what happens when these clouds are formed? Yes, these clouds cannot hold water for a very long time. They can't hold the water for a very long time. So what happens? If there is too much of water in these clouds. Yes, it will form the rain clouds. You have seen rain clouds, the dark color clouds. So if there is rain clouds. What will come? Yes, we know that rain will be falling. Yes, these rain clouds they will remove this excess water in the form of rain, snow, hail, etc. So, what is happening? Yes, that process is called as precipitation. That process is called as precipitation. So, by the process of precipitation. Again, the water is reaching our sea, snow. So our water is reaching sea, sea, lakes, oceans, rivers, etc. So, what is happening here? 
a cycle is happening a flow of water is happening this is called as water cycle this is called as water cycle did you understand about water cycle yes evaporation condensation precipitation these three terms you have to be very clear what is evaporation the process of changing water to water vapor then a condensation is exactly the reverse of evaporation the process of changing water vapor to water that is called as condensation clear about the water cycle when the clouds formed by the process of condensation cannot hold water any more they fall down as rain hail snow etc let's see this is hailstones sometimes raindrops grow in size and are frozen to form hard balls of ice because of the cold atmosphere have you seen this yes these are called as hailstones but sometimes when the water vapor freezes in the air it forms tiny flakes of ice they are called as snow you have seen the snow sometimes snowfall takes place mainly in hill stations during which season yes during the winter season you have experienced this yes in our country we don't have much of snowfall but in america and all you have seen in pictures what a snow fall they are experiencing now see children this is dew dew drops you might have seen this in the early mornings isn't it when water vapor in the air condenses to form droplets on cold objects like grass flower leaf and in the window panel what is formed dew is formed you might have noticed this nowadays early in the morning isn't it children see this this is frost when the nights are very cold dew or surface water freezes to form tiny ice crystals this is called frost somewhat like the snow isn't it yes ah yes now it is fog you might have experienced this when you are traveling to hill stations yes during winter water vapor condenses on dust particle present in the air which is very close to the ground and it will form like thick clouds this is fog because of fog when you are driving you will not be able to see the way or the road how many of you have experienced this children we need to know about the purification of water this is a topic which you have already studied in your third standard isn't it yes we know that rain water is the purest form of water but the water which is present in the well which is present in rivers lakes etc they may have some kinds of impurities in them these impurities may cause some kinds of diseases if we are using this water isn't it so it is needed to purify this water to get rid of the germs so which are the main methods used for the purification of water yes we can use boiling method the common method which we are using then sedimentation and decantation method then we can have the filtration method we can have chlorination method sedimentation and decantation method it is used to remove mud or sand present in the water isn't it filtration method also is used to remove the impurities chlorination we will be putting chlorine tablets to remove the unwanted impurities in the water so you have to know about this purification of water next is about underground water we saw about the rain what is happening to the water that is reaching the earth as rain yes this water will be going to the soil through the top soil then to the subsoil and then it will be reaching the porous rock which is present underground yes so this water which is reaching will be stored in this porous rocks so we will be taking these water through the water pumps and all from the wells and all we will be taking this is called as underground water this is called as underground water the stored water is called as underground water 
What do you mean by a water table? The level of underground water in a particular area. That is called as the water table. So, you need to know about the underground water also. Okay, children. So, in our today's class, we saw a very important topic. What is that? Yes, water cycle. When we are telling about water cycle, what do you have to remember? Yes, you have to remember about evaporation, condensation, precipitation. Okay, the flow of water in the earth's surface that is called as water cycle and we saw how this water cycle is happening. Then we saw about the purification methods of water and then we saw about underground water. Clear? Okay, by that we are completing our lesson. Which lesson? Air, water and weather. Children, please read the textbook thoroughly. There is an activity for you. All of you, please take your textbook. Take page number 96. There is an activity given in the textbook. Just see, take two bowls with same quantity of water in them. Keep one in direct sunlight and other in the shade. You have to do, do this experiment and you have to observe and write what will happen in the column provided. Okay, that is an activity for you. We will meet in the next class with the textual exercises of this lesson. Bye. Take care.